Olá e sejam bem-vindos ao programa Aterram Só País, um espaço de autoria da Comunidade Bahá'í de Portugal. Hoje temos o privilégio de ter connosco a senhora Janet Kahn, que durante quase 30 anos trabalhou no Centro Mundial Bahá'í, em Israel. Foi também professora na Universidade de Queensland, na Austrália, onde agora está de novo a viver. Vamos falar um pouco sobre o que é a religião Bahá'í, como, vive, como vivem os Bahá'ís e em que é que acreditam. A primeira pergunta será, obviamente, o que é a religião Bahá'í. The Baha'i faith is a new world religion. It began in Iran in the middle of the last century. It's a religion that deals with the issues of the day, the concern for equality, for justice, and a recognition of the need to, to find ways to bring people together. If we look at the world around us, it's clear that there are many barriers, great separation between peoples of different classes and countries and backgrounds and the purpose of the Baha'i faith is to find a unity, to build a unity between the peoples of the world. How did you meet the Baha'i faith? I met the Baha'i faith when I was a student and I was brought up as a Roman Catholic and was not looking for a new religion and I think the it It followed me. It was a journey of about five years from the time I first heard about it until I investigated and I studied it. And the thing that made the difference, the thing that made me take the step of faith was seeing the, the ability of the faith to bring people of different races together. I was living in the United States at the time and this was in the 1960s when there was a big issue in relation to race. And I saw at a Baha'i gathering the, the way in which people from the different racial backgrounds related. And it convinced me that there was some force, some power, some motivation in this faith that that made people want to, to join together in unity. Uh, how can the words of Baha'u'llah, the messenger of the Baha'i faith, influence a, a person? I think the message of Baha'u'llah, because it's modern, because it, it, it's both modern and ancient, in that it calls attention, it reminds us all of the importance of spiritual values, of the importance of praying, of the importance of service. And so I think these, this reminder, it kind of, it's like excavation. It excavates all of the, the, the overlay of, of inattention and whatever that, that comes about through modern life. And so it, it speaks to our hearts. But, but, it also, but we Baha'is also reach out and find people who are not members of the faith, but people who want to make the world a better place. And we, we find ways of collaborating, encouraging each other, supporting each other in, in this initiative of building a, a better world. Mm -hmm. What is the importance of the, the prayers in the, for the Baha'is? It's a main issue in all religions, but the Baha'i prayers are really beautiful. The, the Baha'i prayer, it's like conversation with God. But it's an interesting conversation because when I look at the, like the architecture of a prayer, the, the sequence of thoughts, it might be a prayer for assistance. But beyond that, we're reminded of other facets of life, like the need to give praise, to, to, to be grateful for what we have, to... Um, To, to see the various dimensions of God, his compassion, his mercy, his justice. And all of these, some of these ideas get woven into the individual prayers. So it's, it's a very enriching. It's interesting because the Baha'i faiths are not only for the, the self-being, it, right. it's for the whole humanity. Yes, yes, mm. yes, it mm. is. And... and Sometimes when somebody, when, when a person who may not be a member of the faith first reads a Baha'i prayer, they think, ah, there's no amen at the end, or there's no this, or there's no that. But if, 
if they let the words, if they listen, if let let their hearts listen to the words. I think it's a very profound experience. I mean, there are prayers for unborn babies. There are prayers for for the deceased. There are prayers for assistance. There are prayers for steadfastness in belief. Um, they're just, I mean, all the aspects of life. Mrs. Janet Kahn, what would you say to someone who is curious about the Baha'i faith but doesn't know that much? I think when you hear about something that's new, it's really important to look at it carefully. And to, I mean, just taking my own example, my journey took five years. Don't take that long. You don't need five years, probably. <laughs> but, but, but be patient. Investigate. Talk to people who are Baha'is. Read some Baha'i literature. There's a lot of information on the internet. There are ways of getting information. And don't be put off if if something comes up that you think, hmm, I'm not sure about that. Just see if there are other. Things that may be attractive, and 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 in the end, you'll find an answer to that thing that that maybe seemed a little bit unusual at the beginning. Be open-minded. Be open-minded. Be open-minded. I mean, this is the characteristics of being modern to be open-minded. Mrs. Janekan, thank you very much. It was a great pleasure talking with you. Quanto a si, se gostou do nosso programa, quer saber um pouco mais sobre a fé Bahá'í? ou quer receber um livro de orações em casa, como falámos uh, durante este programa, não hesite, contacte-nos, os nossos contactos estão a passar em rodapé, faça-nos perguntas, dê sugestões, enfim, escreva-nos. Muito boa tarde e até o próximo programa da Comunidade Bahá'í de Portugal.